Hi everyone, my name is Megan Henderson. I am starting a YouTube channel to document um, our life here. Um, my husband's name is Derek and we have a one-year-old daughter named Memphis May. And I'm really excited to announce a few things that I am and we are doing in our lives to share a life update. Um, so the first thing is that um, <clears throat> I own a business called Southern Scribble and I'm a hand lettering artist and calligraphy. So I make LED signs with my hand lettering and um, do signage, anything that you need hand lettered, I can do it for you. Um, my website is www.southernscribble.com. Um, I'll link it down below. And excuse me, I kind of have like a sinus infection that I'm still recovering from. Um, but I recently closed my storefront to focus on what I am announcing and also, you know, to be a more present wife and a more present mom. I am going to be, uh, me and my husband are. We've purchased something and we are excited to announce it to you all. So uh, the first thing is that uh, my husband and I have been renting for over seven years now, the, all the years that we've been together. And I'm excited to announce that we purchased land last December. Uh, we purchased 10 acres and um, so we're going to be moving out to our land and um, making our little homestead there. And uh, about a week ago, we also purchased an RV. Awesome. So it's a 1992 Fleetwood Bounder and I think it's about 36 feet long, um, but we're going to be uh, sharing that journey with you guys on living in an RV and, you know, paying off our debt, saving money, building our credit, um, all of the financials. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer that you have to make sacrifices sometimes to get the results that you want in life. And so that's pretty much our goal with RV living is to save money, pay off debt or pay down debt and build our credit to purchase. Um, we plan to purchase a manufactured home or build a home and put it on our land as well. We got it y'all. I am so excited. Yay. RV living, here we come. The second thing that I'd like to announce is um, that I have struggled severely with my weight enti my entire life. I've always been plus sized and I love that. I love my body. You know, I love the skin that I'm in, but I'm honestly really not feeling good. Um, you know, I'm having lower back pain. I'm having joint pain. I'm having knee pain. And um, I've just really been praying about this since February um, about having weight loss surgery. And I know that that's a really um, hard topic, um, but I truly believe that I have gotten my answer from God and I don't really care to hear any negativity because I'm doing what's best for myself and my family and I want to be healthy for a long time. And so I just kind of wanted to share my story. So in February, I started, um, you know, researching bariatric surgery. There's a few different options that you can do. There's the gastric sleeve, um, there's gastric bypass, and then there's also um, like the Sadie, and then um, maybe one other one, I believe. Um, 
But March, you know, I, I remember one morning I was driving out of our neighborhood and I prayed, God, you know, I've really been just tumbling with the idea of having bariatric surgery. Like, is this the right thing for me? And I remember praying that morning. Sorry, I'm getting emotional because I just can't believe God's mercy. Um, I remember praying that morning and, you know, I've always loved cardinals like the Redbirds and um, that morning I, I prayed a very specific prayer. I said, God, if this is the way that you want me to go through weight loss surgery, please send me a Redbird today. And I prayed that prayer while we were driving, while I was driving out of my neighborhood on the way to work that day. That was probably early March. And I hadn't seen a red bird all day. I was kind of feeling discouraged. And whenever I was driving home after I picked up Memphis from school, right whenever I crossed the path, the exact path where I prayed that specific prayer, God sent a red bird and flew over the exact path that I was crossing whenever we were driving in our neighborhood. And I just broke down, like, I was just like, thank you, Lord, for this answered prayer, because I've struggled with weight my entire life, and weight loss surgery is definitely not the easy way out, and it definitely deserves a lot more credit than what it what it has um I believe that obesity is a disease and it's not something that a lot of people can control and um sometimes people need more help than um what normal people are able to do um Sorry. So after that, after God answering my prayer right in that moment, I was like, okay, I'm ready. Like, let's do this. So um, I called uh, my primary care provider and scheduled an appointment um, to have a referral to a bariatric clinic. And um, he did just that for me. He referred me to a clinic in Norman, um, but they didn't accept my insurance. So I got kind of discouraged and I was like, well, you know, I wonder. And so I started researching other bariatric clinics in Oklahoma. We live in Oklahoma. And um, I found another one in Edmond and they didn't accept my insurance and I asked them for suggestions. And so I ended up calling my insurance and she said that you have to have all of these comorbidities um, in order to qualify for my insurance to cover anything. I finally found a place that accepted my insurance so I reached out to them and got the, got the referral from my primary provider sent to OU Health. OU Health accepts my insurance. And um, so I visited with them and I also found out that recently back in uh, September of last year, they made it to where you actually don't have to have all of these comorbidities to qualify for bariatric surgery, you just have to have a certain BMI or higher. Um, so I was so thankful in that moment whenever I had jumped through all of these hurdles. So far, back and forth phone calls, I was getting very discouraged. And then finally, 
so on March 18th, I did the informational seminar with OU Health. And basically what that is, is it's the first step in your bariatric journey. Most programs have an informational seminar that you attend on Zoom or in person to go over the different types of surgeries and ask questions about which surgery is best for you and your health. So I decided that the gastric bypass is probably going to be most beneficial for me and my health. And I, um, I waited several months to, you know, back and forth phone calls and things. And I finally got my, um, my first appointment scheduled for July 15th. Good morning. Um, we are on the way to my first appointment for my bariatric program. Um, today I will meet with the dietitian and the nurse practitioner. And so my husband and I went to the clinic on July 15th and they gave me this um, binder, um, OU Health Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery Program. And it has all of the information that I'm going to need over the next few months while I am completing the program. I have all of the stuff that I have to do, um, everything with a check mark, I have to do um, before I can get a surgery date. So once I complete all of these things, then my clinic, my program will be able to give me a surgery date. And at that time, I'll know whenever I can go have my back gastric bypass surgery. So that's a lot of information, um, but we are super excited for our journey, you know, simple living in the RV, me getting my health on track, um, and Derek is doing low carb with me as well, so that helps. And um, I am just really excited to start sharing our journey with you guys and start vlogging and um, I hope that I can be an inspiration to someone or help someone along the way. Um, whenever I started praying about this in February and March, I really felt like God's answer to my prayer whenever he sent me the red bird was that this is going to be a tool that he is going to use to help others. And I am so excited and so thankful. So if this video encouraged you today, please let me know. And, you know, if you're struggling or if you need help or if you need, you know, prayer or if you need questions answered, just comment below and I will do my best to get with you and respond. Um, I'm also going to be documenting my journey on Instagram. My Instagram is Meg, M -E -G -M Henderson. So it's at Meg M. Henderson. And then um, I'll also be posting some things on Facebook as well, but mainly Instagram. Um, I'm going to have some highlight reels, um, just documenting all of my pre-op, um, all of the things that I have to do before surgery, taking you guys along with me on the journey. And then also wanted to take you guys along with me on the journey as well with our RV living. So I'm super excited and I hope that this video um, kind of explains where my heart and my head has been lately. And I'm so thankful for a supportive husband. He is absolutely incredible. I am so excited to be healthier for our little baby girl, Memphis May, and be a more present mom and a more present wife, and that's just the goal. So I'm so thankful, um, and I will be back. I hope to vlog again soon. Thank you.